Hi there, it's Grigor from Stellware and in this brief video I'm going to show you what the K2 Maps plugin can do and how it does it. I'm gonna be really short so stay tuned. This is a default Joomla installation, it only contains uh, K2 component on top and um, of course uh, the Stellware Maps plugin, you can see it here. And um, before recording this video, I have created one category in Kate, which is called restaurants, and I've put several items on it, placing some um, uh, locations. And here we go, that's the default installation. I click on the restaurants link, which is the K2 category, and you can see a map where we have uh, an LA restaurant and New York restaurant and a cluster. Cluster is uh, a unique feature that uh, combines um, several items uh, with their locations when they're close to each other and they should be shown on a larger map. When you zoom in uh, you see that each location is now displayed separately. Nice restaurant in London and then you have a restaurant in Lisboa in Portugal clicking on uh, the restaurant in Lisboa, you open the K2 item, which uh, has the geo coordinates in it. And you can see the icon here where the restaurant is placed. Uh, some pictures around it, which are loaded by Panoramio. And of course, um, uh, directions uh, feature. For example, if you want to uh, go to that restaurant from Mand Madrid in Spain, you can see what Google suggests as the best route. I'm not going to get into too much details. I'm going to open the, um, the plugin. As you can see, there are a lot of features and a lot of settings. Uh, most, um, most of them should work uh, out of the boxes they are set on default but you can basically control everything clustering uh, is the one thing that I've shown you uh, you can select the map type both in category and item view you can select uh, icon scour we have some predefined but you can upload yours as well with the own option uh, we have directions, enabled, disabled, etc. Um, without getting into too much details, I'm just going to show what uh, the options are, like street view. Street view is uh, enabled by default, um, but it requires user interaction like this one. However, you may decide to show the street view over the map or in a separate box on top of it. A lot of layers like the panoramu, I'm going to disable it now, weather layer which shows icons with uh, the weather forecast, uh, clouds layer, Google Places search box, um, you can run AdSense in the map with a lot of different features, Coraser which allows you a specific type of um, styling the map, you can visit the Coraser website for details. Uh, you can set a default location in the admin panel uh, and you can select the location of where the map is actually going to display. Uh, in case you make a, a lot of changes, you just re-index of your articles and that's it. Now I'm going to um, just add a new content to show you how it looks like in the backend. Um, I'm going to K2, components K2. I will add a new location a new item which basically will contain the location data. I will call it the uh, best restaurant in Moscow, for example. Choose the category, restaurants, add some tag. Yeah, Moscow. This is the best place to eat in Moscow. And as you can see, there is a map below the, the editor. I'll just enter Moscow, Russia. I will save.
and the plugin automatically de detects the latitude and the longitude. If you put a more precise address like street or a, a suburb, it will catch it as well. I'll change the, the icon from landmark to, I don't know, kebab. I would save it, close the item. We'll go back on the website, we'll open again the, the restaurants category and you see Moscow now appears there with its own unique icon that I have selected for it. Best restaurant in Moscow. That's the item, that's the address. Uh, when you don't specify the address, it just puts puts it in the um, center of the city. You have a lot, a lot of features that you can use with our plugin. You can use it uh, with KOM layers, you can use it uh, to run AdSense, you can use it to show weather forecast directions. Uh, all of these options are available both in the category view where all the, the, the items that have been geocoded are displayed or you can see them also in every specific item as well. Stay tuned for more videos from Styleware. I'm Grigor. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Have fun with Styleware K2Maps plugin. Enjoy.